All right, partners, hope the audio is good. I'm sitting here with you today, drinking a cup of tea. Green tea, to be specific. And we're going to be doing a review. This is an unboxing, first impressions kind of review video. I haven't actually used the product yet, and we'll do a review for that later. But uh, at this time... Let's crack open this box and see what we got. Hopefully, hopefully they ship me the right product, eh? We'll see. So we're just going to crack it open here. I got my Leatherman. And uh, got it from Amazon. Opa, opa. It feels packed properly. Like there's a little bit of movement. I don't think this would get broken though, even if you threw it around. I think this is pretty secure. I bet you there's brown paper in this when we open it up. So let's cut that open. It's my first unboxing video that I can remember uh, that isn't related to tarot, so that's kind of cool. Let's see if we keep doing these kinds of videos. Maybe we'll get some sponsorships, and then if you want me to unbox and review your products, feel free to message me. I'll put my email in the, in the I'll put my email in the in the description box as well. Let's do that right now. I'm gonna put the email in the description box here. Edit. You would like me to review your products, email me at lonelycompanymedia at gmail.com. Great. So, if you have any products that you want me to review, if you have any products that you would like to get a little bit more promotion on, I will happily do that for you. Preferably sporting goods, some electronics, knives, things like that. Okay, first things for... Oh, I was wrong. There is no brown paper inside of it. Just air. Air pockets. Here we go. Ready? Let's pull it out. It's nicely packaged. Cam HD. Okay, HD video, HD pictures, HD audio, night vision, and auto zoom. This is the Cam HD. Cam HD, body worn camera. All right. I don't see a model number on this yet. External 64 gigabyte. So I'm assuming this comes with 64 gigabyte ex external card, which you can upgrade. To the best of my knowledge, you can upgrade that to 512 gigabytes. Now we're gonna be very gentle here. I'm gonna keep the box. I don't know. This is box. Yeah, this is a nice box. Single-use plastic, keeps it airtight, not quite vacuum sealed, but very nice, very nice. I need a garbage can. There is a little bit of damage to the box. Upon first inspection, there is some damage. I don't think this is going to affect the product at all, but that is just something to note. A little bit of damage. I'm going to take a picture with my phone just in case because I will do an Amazon review as well. I'll give them a review of the product. Just a little bit of damage. Not much. Looks like it got thrown around a little bit. Or even water damage? No. It's like bubbled. But a little bit loose. You can hear that. 
little bit loose in there. It's a tight fit. Oh, very small. Now there's going to be, oh, hello. There's going to be stuff behind this. This is how it sits. And you can kind of see the camera in there. This is how it sits. It's very cold right now. We, I live in the north, so. I can feel the product is cold. It's been sitting in the vehicle for some time. Now we can pull that out. It says protect your video camcorder. It has a 64 gigabyte sticker on it. Protect your camcorder. Do not use sharp tip pens or other hard objects with the LCD screen. Now there is a slight protector, screen protector, that says all that. And there's a camera, camera on the front, a microphone in the back, there's a port on the bottom, and that's where you access the SD card. And it can swivel out of the way, which is nice, so you can get in there. Now, I'm not sure how you access that without poking it. I have a guitar pick here. Before I start messing around too much, I'm going to... There's a USB port, you pop that out and then it swivels so you can charge. That had like a nice little pop sound to it, so it's very tight. This is supposed to be waterproof. It comes with a charger. Put that back in there. Very tightly sealed, not a lot of water is going to get in there. And yeah, the SD card's at the bottom. I don't know how you get that out. I should have another SD card coming that's going to give me... Uh, you just press it. You just press it and the SD card. Micro SD. It is 64 gigs, so they didn't jip me on that. And you just press it back in. You're going to need something to do this, or you're going to need nails and then it clicks into place. Wonderful. Okay, so there's 64 gigs with this model that you can buy on Amazon. There is a 32 one as well. Let's see if it starts just by turning it up. Let's just hold the on button. Very noisy. And yeah, you can see the camera, it's on right away. Tells you how much memory is in the, in the card. It says 59.4 gigs, so I don't know if there is already stuff on here. It has the time. It has the date. It says 2023 and 02.27, so the date is incorrect. The battery is almost fully charged. You can press M, and then you get a menu. Resolution, how do you go up and down? Okay, there's a back, there's a menu button. How do you go up and down? Okay, I found one button. Up, up and down is the two buttons down here. There's obviously some sort of internal programming that it gives you the version of what it is. There's format. Now format, what does that do? Delete all data. I'm going to press cancel because I don't I don't know if there's any data on here. Secret mode. on. So then it doesn't tell you if you're recording. 
And now it's quiet. It's not going to beep anymore. I prefer that. It was really loud. Watermark set. Now I'm going to go through the manual pretty quick here. Date and time. 2023-02. So I guess that where I got this from it was a day ahead. I'm going to... You can change the date, the month, and the day itself. So I'm setting the time right now. Okay, 05 is the hour we are at. Technically, this is 1400 hours. So I'm going to put it at 1400. And 56. So that's great. You can have a timestamp on your video. I wonder if that's part of the watermark. I'm sure it'll let me know. And then we're going to go back. Yeah, great. It's set. And we go from date and time, there's default settings, restore default, so you can just quickly restore your default settings. I'm just learning as we go here. You can change the language of this, and it's hard for you to see, obviously. I'm going to take off the screen protector. I don't need that on there anymore. It says don't use anything sharp with this, but just to peel that off. Just to begin. I'm going to use this for lots of stuff. And it's going to be really awesome to have this 1080p, 30 frames per second. So it's not going to be like the best quality you can get in the world, but it's going to be pretty good. IR filter. So that's manual. You set that manual or you can set that automatic. I think IR filter, we're going to get into that. It's going to tell us what it all is. I'm going to keep it at manual for now. Set password. And then you can set a password to, I guess, lock your device. Open password off. Device and officer. Um... Yeah, maybe you can set this for certain officers. I'm still learning. Vehicle mode, so you can place this in your vehicle. Um, the volume, I'm going to change that. I'm going to put it on low. Voice recording, you can put that on or off. Key tone, on or off. So let's go, actually, let's go back down to volume. I'm going to turn that up to high because that's fine I want the key tone off I didn't like the key tone going bam 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 voice recording key tone off great auto power off five minutes so it can just turn off by itself if you're not using it LCD screen can power off by itself mobile detection so that is if there's something that goes in front of this you can see that Video length. You can set the video length 30 minutes at a time to more. I'm going to set it to 30 minutes. Loop recording. That's when you have um, too much stuff being recorded that it, on your SD card. If it runs over how much memory you have, it removes it. Exposure. You can change the exposure. Miniature video. Um, 15 frames per second, 10 frames per second, 1 frame per second, off. Those are the options. I'm going to learn a little bit more about that. Photo size. You can change the photo size 1 to 36. 1, it goes 1, 3, 5, 8, 16, 24, 36. Now, I didn't, I anticipated you could continuously film with this, but I'm assuming now it's only going to be 30 minutes at a time. And that's fine. Once 30 minute hits, it'll probably stop and then you'll know. 
So I'm going to go secret mode. I'm going to turn that off now. Let's hear. There's no ketones. There's nothing going on there. We can go back to ketone. We'll turn that on and then you'll hear it. Yeah. Device volume. Let's go there and let's go low. That's a little bit more appropriate. Okay, so that's all of the options in the menu. Now I'm filming right now and it looks pretty good. It's got a wide angle. So I think you can see 148. 148, it looks clear. I could definitely make out, I could almost read things. Like if I went up to this, I could read it. I'd have to get kind of close. But I'm sure at post processing you can. Yeah, so I'm I'm aimed right here. I can see all the way at my door. So if this is on my body here, I can see quite a large view. Now we're gonna turn this off. Oh, I actually messed up the time, so I'm gonna change the timing again. date and time. I messed up on what the time was. So there you go. And that's appropriate. And then next. Okay. There we go. Now the time seems to be correct, just a minute, a minute off. Now that might get a little frustrating, that ketone every once in a while, I might get a little bit annoyed by that. So we'll see if I keep that going. It's good to let you know that things are there. Now if I just press, I'm just going to turn it off. Well, oh, there's the flash in blue, blue and red. This is emergency mode. That's all it takes for that. And you could take a picture. I just took a picture. And then you can. What is this a light? That's a light. I think that activates IR. So that's this is now black and white black and white and I can hear like a shutter sound when I do that as well that's cool let's see I'm gonna turn off the lights it still picks up quite a bit but now with IR mode it's even better really cool I can see quite a bit in this dark environment I could still make out faces and I can see a guitar. I can see everything in here. Wow. Okay. And even with the low light, this camera picks up quite a bit. Impressed so far. Now the blue light is there. I don't know if that stays on, but maybe I can go into the menu and see if I can find it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can. Oh, yes, I can. There's a button on here that is a play button. These are the buttons on the. There's menu, there's return, and then there's a play button. And then it shows me here audio, photo, recording, photo, or video. So then I'm going to select photo. And it shows me the photo that I took. That's really cool. That's really cool. Great. Now, can I delete that? No, I can't. But it's saved as JPEG 1. Now, is there a video built into here? 
there's no file. So when there's nothing, no file. Okay, you can't quite see that. Sorry about that. No file. If I go to recording, no file. Now let's go back here. Let's just take a let's just do the microphone button here. All right, so here we are today. The today's date is February 26th. Local time is 1405 minutes. I'm sitting here by myself doing an unboxing video. This is the first time I'm using the device. And we are testing its capabilities. I press the record button again. Just there's a there's a button on here that shows just a microphone. So I press that. Go to menu. No, you don't go to menu, you press play. Then you go to recording. Play that. I don't hear anything. Okay, microphone quality, I'll be honest, that is subpar. I wouldn't say that's the best microphone that I have ever heard. It's, it's, a, it's a wave file. Let's see if I talk quieter. Maybe that'll change things. I'm going to go in the menu, see if I can clean up everything on here. Version 4, see the date, time, warm, warm, default settings, I right, fuck it. Format. Delete all data. Okay. All right, now I'm just going to take a recording instead of a video. I'm going to record. Okay, this is the first video recording that I have taken with this body camera. I am checking out uh, what the watermark means. I am looking at how the camera quality picks up. And then I'm also going to play this back and hear what the audio sounds like. And I'm curious to see how this is going to function when I am operating it while walking because it's going to pick up body noise as well. So we'll see. We're going to do a little more reviews on this. There is a flashing red light when it's recording, and that's the end of this video. Oh, got my flashy blue lights on. Now, I pressed the power button, and that seemed to turn off the LCD screen, but the recording continues. And then you got to press... That one. Okay, blue light, it's not recording. I'm going to go menu. No, I'm going to press play. Play to the video. Okay, this is the first video recording that I have taken with this body camera. I am checking out uh, what the watermark means. I am looking at how the camera quality picks up. And then I'm also going to play this back and hear what the audio sounds like. And I'm curious to see how this is going to function when I am operating it while walking. Because it's going to pick up body noise as well. So we'll see. We're going to do a little more reviews on this. There is a flashing red light when it's recording. Okay. So, that being said, I think this is with the audio... Seems to have glitched here. Yeah, we're stuck. Let's press record again. Yeah, this thing seems to have glitched out here. I already see some damage to the screen here. 
All right, it didn't like that. Now this thing seems to be stuck in the on position. I'm gonna hold the power off button, see what that does. Nothing's happening. It's glitched out here. So that's, that's something to be said. It didn't like that playback or something. All right, well, let's move forward. It'll turn off when it runs out of battery, I guess. And let's keep unboxing. So there's stuff behind this. That's quite neat in there. There's some styrofoam on top. What this comes with is, oh, what is this? Oh, this is uh, what you plug into the wall. So you can charge from the wall. One of these classic wall 12 volt adapter to USB. And this is still glitched out. I don't know how to fix that. And there's a little bit of distortion in my lens here. I don't anticipate this to be super high quality. I didn't spend like more than a couple pennies on this. This is the USB to something adapter. I forget the name of it, but this is how you charge it. This is the body clip. This is a clip in which you can clip it onto your shirt. Let's pull that out. Everything seems to be packed neatly. Yeah, so that you can just clip it. Oh, That's very firm. That's very hard to open up. Maybe it'll get easier with time, but that is really solid. And I think you just put that in here. Now that also, yeah, that's really hard to open up. And I find that's kind of difficult without pressing buttons to get that to open up. Does that just pull right out? No, it doesn't. There's a little button on here, or a little release as well that you gotta press to get that out. It covers the microphone. Now, I don't know if that's going to be detrimental to how it functions, but it definitely covers a microphone. And you're going to have it like this, right? I'm assuming. So there's that piece. Take that out. There's also a shoulder clip here. Now, am I concerned that this thing has glitched already as I as I just bought it and Eh, slightly. Slight concerns. This has a shoulder clip, so if you had something here, you could clip it there. And then it would sit, assuming like this, like that. Okay, get in there. Okay, you kind of have to press the release button to get it in. And it's got a swivel. Very stiff. This is very stiff, so it's not going to move easily while you're running around with it on. So that's nice to know. I just want to know if there's like a hard reset button because I got to turn this off man. This is just stuck in the play mode. It was really disappointing in that sense. Okay and then to get that out you press the release easy enough comes right out. There's also a microfiber cloth for cleaning the lens, I'm assuming, as well as the display. So let's see. That's quite nice. I'm going to use it on my glasses. Get a good review on that. It works enough. Yeah, more works. Okay, eyesight's better. Great, wonderful. Now, generally, you'd probably do that. Probably do a little of this. Clean those lenses without scratching them. Get your fingerprints all off of this. And last but not least, of course, is the manual. This is the user manual. It has product function indicator diagrams. Everything's numbered. 
and it tells you what they do. Press the body camera switch for three seconds. Press the body camera switch button, which is one, for three seconds. The machine is turned on and enters the pre-shooting state. One, two, three. Now I can't really review it because it's glitched out. Press and hold the power button for three seconds in the power on state. One, two, three. It's still glitched on. When the screen is turned on and the machine is turned on, a short click will turn off the screen display. And it's still it's still on. I can't seem to get this off of it's just glitched out and it's like playback mode, which is kind of weird. Video buttons like playback will automatically enter the viewfinder preview mode. Short press the video button to start recording with sound. Short press the video button again to automatically save the captured video. The recording status indicator is red, so it flashes red like I showed you. One key recording function. In the shutdown state, long press the recording button for three seconds. The body camera will automatically turn on and start recording directly. Short press the recording button to stop the recording and the recording file will be automatically saved. When shooting in the dark at night, you need to press the infrared button. At this time, the infrared light is turned on and night shooting mode is entered. The pictures taken at night are black and white. In the video recording mode, long press the camera button as the key mark and a yellow five pointed star mark will be displayed in the lower right corner of the screen, which is convenient for the user to find key files. So while recording, press the long, long press the camera button, which is the picture, not the record button. After power on, the system automatically enters the after power on, the system automatically enters the standby mode. Short press the record button to stop, and the record recorded sound is automatically saved. The recording state means that the music light is orange. One key recording. In the off state, long press the recording button for three seconds. The machine will automatically turn on and record automatically at this time. When the machine is stuck and the response is slow, use the sharp object reset button to restore the machine to its original state. Now, where do I do that? Is that it? I'm going to look for that. Reset button is 8. Number 12. It's inside where the USB is, they say. Yeah, and you're going to need a little pin. Some sort of pin. Now, I don't have a pin on me, I don't think. And it doesn't come with a pin. So that is something that I would recommend they add to the kit. But I have a, a knife. I have a knife. Now, is that going to be sufficient? Let's see. And I don't really like it. Totally not to, you shouldn't be using sharp objects on this thing, but it is not optimal. I need to find a pin. Where where might I find a pin in my house? Now let's test. Can a pen do it? A pen probably isn't pointy enough. Did not work. Pen did not work. 12. There's got to be an easier way. 
reset button is there. I need a pin. Now, do I have a sewing kit anywhere? That's a good question. So, good thing they have a fail-safe for that. I mean, like, they should probably have an easier accessible reset button. Unless that's it. But I don't think that's it either. What is that? There's no number on that, so that's fine. It isn't a thing, it's just a... It's nothing there. Okay, I need a pin, everybody. And then once we get past that process, I can maybe do a little bit more reviews. Camera button, back button. In the preview interface, short press will play the latest shot and recorded file. Reset button. I need a pin. Prompt and status prompt. Operation reminder. Operation reminders include power on, off prompt, ketone, photo, video, start prompt, and recording, abnormal alarm. The body camera has an alarm function for battery voltage. For battery under voltage and storage overflow, the body camera has a video loss alarm function after the battery under voltage alarm. The remaining battery capacity can ensure that the normal recording of the body camera for not less than 5 minutes, but not more than 30 minutes. So I guess there's a, like an alarm when you run out of battery. Show remind, the law enforcement recorder can display information such as battery power, charging status, system time, recording time, equipment number, police officer number, and storage margin. So a blue light is charging, but it's not charging. Yellow light is recording, red light is video, green light is turn on. System settings. The resolution can be set to 1080 or 1296 P, 720, 480. You can set the required resolution according to your requirements. The resolution is divided by 1M up to 36M. When miniature video is turned on, the recorded file will be compressed and become a double speed playback video. Exposure. Adjust the exposure value. Loop recording. When enabled, the memory is insufficient to record a new video. It will automatically overwrite the earlier, earliest file to record a new file. In order to improve the security of the video file, the video is divided into 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. After the set time is full, it will automatically be saved and enter the next segment to continue. Okay, so you can record continuously. Recording and the interval between two videos will not be higher than 0.1 second. That's awesome. Okay. That's a little bit better than what I thought. Mobile detection. Motion detection is on and off respectively. When it is turned on, it enters the state of motion detection when there is a human shaped icon on the left side of the screen. Uh, when a moving object enters the pre shooting range of the body camera, it'll automatically start recording. Auto power off. So this should auto power off. Relevant. 5 minutes, 10 minutes, and 30 minutes. When the body camera is not recording, uh, recording, when the body camera is not recording or recording, which is sound, and there is no operation, the body camera will automatically shut down at the set time it is re uh, reached. Ketone. Divided into on and off when it's turned on, the key is a comp accompanied by a prompt tone. When it's turned off, there is no sound. And they have a typo in this. It says Vioki recording, but it's voice recording. They, they made a typo in this, I'll be honest. And when voice recording is turned on, sound will be recorded while recording the screen. When it is turned off, the body camera will only record the screen, but not the sound. So there will be no sound. Device volume. You can set the volume you think is appropriate. You can use the up and down on, there are three options, high, medium, and low. Vehicle mode. 
After it is turned on, the body camera will automatically turn on to record when it is connected to the power source and automatically stop recording and shut down after power off. So you can plug it in and set it up in your vehicle and then it will, as soon as you power up your vehicle, it will turn on and start recording. Device and officer. It can be used to modify the body camera ID and the ID will be displayed on the screen after it is turned on. Open. Password. Can be set to open or close. So you can put a password to lock it. Infrared mode. Divided into manual and automatic. In the manual option, you will need to manually long press the infrared button to switch to night vision mode. The automatic mode is to switch to infrared night vision by light sensitive response and switch automatically according to the surrounding environment. There's language settings. You can restore to default settings, change the time. There's a time watermark, so when turned on, there will be a time watermark on the recorded file, and the time watermark will not be displayed on the file that is closed for viewing. And format SD card that is... Um, you completely delete the contents of the body camera. Now there's the data folder. The method to enter the data folder is to press the OK key to enter the screen as shown in the figure below. And there are three folders. And then you can navigate from there. Connect to the computer. The body camera is connected to the computer through the data cable and the body camera is automatically turned on. At this point three options appear. Select the first mass storage through the up and down keys on the right. The body camera will be used as storage for viewing the files. Select the second PC camera through the up and down and, the, and it will be used as an external camera after the configuration. So you can use this as a webcam. Select the third recording mode through the up and down and the body camera will not be read by the computer and you can perform recording while charging. Charging batteries. When the, battery, when the body camera battery is low, you need to charge the built-in battery. The specific method is as follows. Use the attached power adapter to plug into the USB interface. Um, after the charging indicator will be green when charging the charging process. It takes about four to five hours. When the green light goes out, the charging is complete. Do not place a product near humidity and high temperatures. Please use the power adapter charges the battery off this. Yeah, this is definitely from China. Their English is not the best. Common problem solving. Can't boot. Check whether the battery is low and charge it. The button does not respond when the power is on. Poke the reset hole with a camera or a sharp object and restart. Please connect the body camera to the, and use the dedicated background management software to proceed. So there's there's management software in there. Okay, so I need to figure out how to reset this camera. That's it for this review. Um, we'll go through it again here. You get a camera, obviously. It comes in a nice package. That doesn't quite fit the camera perfectly. There's some movement, and it comes in like a bag here, and that makes it more stable. And then underneath that is cables and charging units, clips, body clips, and shoulder clips. And this also has like a line for a microphone, I believe, to hang off that because you could potentially attach a microphone. I think there's an adapter for that. And then the only issue I'm seeing here would be like when it glitches like this and you don't have a clip. So. That's about it. We'll give you a couple reviews when I take some videos and stuff and then see how it goes from there. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for commenting. And I so far say this is a product that does what it indicates as long as it's not frozen. As long as it's not frozen. Frozen in time and space. I'm going to try and turn it off again. One. Two. Three. Didn't work. None of the buttons seem to be 
operating anymore, like I'm pressing all of them and none of them are doing anything. So we'll see how that goes. All right, have a good day.